the new head coach at uh, Hobart, and uh, this is our, our assistant, uh, Tom Keller. Uh, we're the new guys in town, and uh, I can say, in all honesty, uh, in all my years as a, as a head coach, um, this is a tremendous community, as evidenced by the strength of your performance today, and then all of us coming together to celebrate this wonderful woman. I, I've only known her for two weeks, and I've been nothing but impressed, and uh, I know that this boat will go well, because she's all about speed, and that's good stuff for us. Uh, with regard to our own thing, in the world of rowing, next to the Olympics and the World Championships, the Henley Regatta in England is probably the most prestigious event a rower can participate in. And uh, we had a group last year that had the honor of representing the college uh, over in England. Uh, they were able to move through uh, two weeks of, uh, of overseas training, uh, one regatta, the Reading Regatta, as a tune-up for their Henley Regatta, where they were able to get through the first round and into the second round in a, a phenomenal field of competitive boats. Uh, I, unfortunately, was not lucky enough to attend, uh, but Michael Hepp, uh, one of our, uh, our great coaches from the past, was, all, was able to attend. And uh, I'd like to turn it over to him just to talk a little bit about the experience, and then we're going to be able to celebrate uh, the accomplishments of, of those nine young men uh, by uh, having a poster that's going to hang in the main hallway of uh, the second floor of the Bristol Gymnasium. So everybody that walks through there on the tour and, and on their way to RFK will, will know kind of our legacy, what we strive to be, and, uh, and, and those guys in that picture hopefully will serve as a beacon for the rest of our team of, of what's possible as a statesman oarsman. Thanks, Coach. Uh, before I do that, I just quickly would like to thank, uh, first, congratulations to Deb and the William Smith program. Uh, and definitely want to thank the faculty and staff who came out, the Hobart alumni who, who made treks all the way from California uh, to be here this weekend. Uh, I see Coach Hannah of Hobart Athletics, and of course all the parents who put on such a great spread for us for lunch. They're here, they're here in the sunshine, they're here in the snow, uh, and they keep our athletes and our program fed, um, and they can't do it without your help and the parents' fun support. So if you get a chance, uh, you can see Kim Burgess or anyone uh, at the parents' table. Um, yeah, this was just a special trip, two weeks. I was fortunate to go. It was. Uh, it wasn't rough, let's say that. Um, but the team definitely deserved it. It was a, uh, nine athletes who spent four years, uh, blood, sweat, and tears every day on the canal and at races and, and truly deserved the trip and, and definitely cap, capped off a big win against Southampton, uh, which, the, which the photo uh, reflects. And it was just a great experience and hopefully we'll send many more trips to Henley uh, through the support of the SAA, the Heron Society, uh, parents and friends who are here, who are here today. Um, so with that, I'd just like to reveal the photo that will hopefully di be displayed along the admissions tour route in Bristol, Tim. Uh, so we get many recruits here, and, uh, and as you can see, just a quick... <laughs> many of the guys are here, and I'm sure they'd love to, love to talk about it with you if you'd like to ask them about the trip. But again, just wanted to thank everybody here today and, and coaches and, and faculty and staff and parents and guests who were able to make it out to Geneva on such a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Yeah, if the guys from Henley want to come down, maybe we can.